Hi, this is Neil. Welcome to Article Reading for Juniors. Today, we'll lo look at this article about the flame virus, which has been used to uh, infiltrate Iranian computers and potentially stop their nuclear system from developing any further than it already has. Uh, we'll look at question number one first, actually. Uh, the article would be of most interest to which of the following people? So for this one, you have to make some assumptions. You have to make a, a, a little guess. So who would enjoy this article? Now, it's an article about a computer virus, right? So someone who is interested in computers would probably be the best answer for you here. Look at your choices. You have A, a computer programmer, which sounds like it's probably the right answer, right? Because a computer programmer would be interested in an article about a computer program. Uh, let's go ahead and click it. We can always change it if something better comes along. A doctor? No, it's about a computer virus, not a real virus. So get rid of B. What about C? A fan of computer games. Now, a fan of computer games might enjoy this article and might be interested in it, but it's not that person's main job to know about this. So I would say C is probably not right either. A is a better answer. And D, a nuclear scientist, might be interested in it again, but is probably not going to be the most interested of these four people. Of these four, a computer programmer is the best choice because Flame is a computer program. Let's move on to number six down here. Flame and Stuxnet are similar in that. So how is the flame virus similar to the Stuxnet virus? To figure that out, you need to look at the descriptions of the flame virus and the Stuxnet virus. Let's go down to 42 to see if there's any evidence down there. Politicians in Iran accuse Israel and the United States of developing flame, saying that it works very, oops, very, much like Stuxnet, a virus that attacked Iran's nuclear program in 2010. So they're similar in that they both attacked the Iranian uh, nuclear program. Um, yeah, and that flame is more complicated than Stuxnet, but they're very similar otherwise. Let's look at the choices. Iran's government believes that the U.S. and Israel developed them both. Well, that could possibly be true, because like it says in 40 and 41, politicians in Iran accuse Israel and the United States of developing flame, which we read before. So A sounds like a potentially right answer. Again, let's click on it first, and then let's move on to the other choices to see if there's one that might be better. Kapersky Lab invented them both. It doesn't say that. It says something that experts at Kapersky Lab said, um, saying that flame is similar to Stuxnet, but it's a lot more complicated. But they don't say that they invented it. So that's not going to be the right answer. Also, we know that Kapersky Lab is just investigating the two viruses. It didn't probably invent them. What about C? They are equally complex computer programs. Well, like we just said, the Kapersky Lab people say that Flame is 20 times more complicated than Stuxnet. Right there. See it? So that tells us that it's probably more complex than Stuxnet Flame is, so they are not equally complex. See? Oops. Keep it on A. And then D. They were both invented by Iran to attack the U.S. and Israel. That's kind of the opposite of what the Iranians think. This virus, whoever invented it, attacked Iran, and the Iranians are blaming the U.S. and Israel for building it. So it's definitely not D. You got A. That's your answer. Let's move on. We're going to look at number seven last. We can guess that Boldiskar Ben Skath's quotation on lines 59 through 61 is meant to make readers feel what? So how are you supposed to feel when you read this person's quotation on, this, on these last couple of lines? Let's read those quotations. Flame appears to be part of a targeted attack. Oh, actually, let's read a little bit earlier. 
However, Boldasar Benskat, a computer expert at Budapest University's Liber Laboratory of Cryptography and System Security, says that most people do not have to worry that Flame will attack their home computers. Flame appears to be part of a targeted attack, says Benskath. That means that normal home computers most likely are not at risk. So this expert, Benskath, says that most people don't have to worry, and then he says that home computers are not at risk. So the answer is probably something like, is meant to make readers feel calm, or is meant to make readers feel um, safe because he's telling us that our computers are not going to be attacked by this virus. So look for an answer that means calm or unafraid or something like that. Annoyed? No, we're not supposed to feel annoyed. We're supposed to feel calmed. So get rid of that. Frightened? That's the opposite of what we're looking for. So get rid of that too. What about relieved? Relieved means like you feel like there's nothing wrong, like you feel like you are not in danger or you're not having problems. So I'd say that relieved is probably the right answer, but let's look at D just in case. Vigilant. If you're vigilant, you're really attentive. You're paying attention. You're on guard. And that's not what you're looking for because you, he's telling us we don't need to be on guard. We don't need to be worried about this, this computer virus because it's not dangerous for home computers. So D is not a good answer either. So you choose C, like we already did, and you get it right, and you're done. All right, again, if you have any more questions, go to the forum and ask there. You'll get an answer as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'll talk to you tomorrow, and I hope you enjoy tomorrow's article um, just as much as you enjoyed this one, or if you didn't like this one, a little more. Talk to you later. Bye.